going to be the second installation for my FET tires on a Brompton series and this video is going to be about how I secured the tire for the front wheel this is only for the front wheel by the way if you are new to the channel this channel is all about small wheel bikes not just the Brompton it could be the Birdie whatever small wheel bike scooter motorcycle you can imagine I do comment on it I don't post very often if you have such a bike or if you are thinking about buying such a bike I recommend that you subscribe I believe that there are only two tires on the market that are bigger than the standard size that would fit the Brompton unfortunately the only thing you can fit on the front wheel is the Scorcher from the Green Speed Trike company and that's the one I just bought on the rear you have a choice of either installing the Scorcher or going for the much bigger 2 inch wide Schwalbe Big Apple tire so I'm starting with the Scorcher partly because that's the only thing you can install in the front without modifying the bicycle and partly because I'm just very curious about this bike I want to be able to test it, to ride it this tire is not cheap and it's not easy to find either I was able to get one from a, an online company called Hostel Shop I'm providing a link below in the description I paid 60 bucks for the tire and another 12 and a half to have it shipped to New York so the total cost is $73 it's definitely not a cheap uh, tire it's probably at least twice as expensive as the Big Apple the company behind the tire Green Speed is actually a US company located in Michigan in the Great Lakes area they make a, a bunch of different trikes and apparently these tires are made for their racing trike which is called the Aero the Aero is a definitely a hot looking very very low very aerodynamic bike or trike rather it has 16 inch wheels in the front just like the Brompton the rear wheel is actually much bigger and I, I find it highly interesting that a company especially a small company like this one would develop a tire just for one of their trike models the trike is not cheap it's $4,500 as the starting price there are all kinds of accessories you can get but for now I am only interested in the tires as you can see this is the big rear tire and the, the front wheels which are much smaller here you can see the fine print on the bike as well as the tires the front is a 16 by one and a half inch and the rear tire is 20 by one and a half here I'm showing the new tire next to the one I already have installed on my Brompton uh, when you look at it you really don't see much of a difference it doesn't even look wider the, the width difference is totally negligible if I didn't know this was not a standard 1.35 tire made for the Brompton I, I would never never recognize it when you look at it from the side it also looks very much the same it's really not a, a big looking tire and not a fat tire at all when you look at the when you feel the tire when you feel the weight of it it's it feels much more fragile much lighter than the Schwalbe the Schwalbe Marathon which I currently have installed and so I am I am just assuming that the durability is going to be significantly less that should be no surprise because these tires were not designed for commuting or touring unlike the Schwalbe Marathon these are racing tires designed only for drive smooth pavement the tire was made in Taiwan which I think is a good thing and it is marked as 40 millimeter by 349 if you are looking for tires to mount on the Brompton 
do not look at the inches don't look at the 16 inch tires because 16 inch tires can come in all kinds of different diameters as crazy as that sounds you have to look at the millimeter marking and the millimeter marking should be 349 the width of the tire at 40 millimeters is only five millimeters wider than the stock Brompton tire. The minimum tire pressure is only 40 psi, which is sensational because for something that is essentially the same size as the stock Brompton tire, you can come down to half the tire pressure. On the other hand, if you want to run it on a really high tire pressure, to, to use it for racing or exercise, you can do that. You can pump it up to 100 PSI. And here I'm showing the original Schwalbe Marathon tire, which I have installed. As you can see, it's almost the same size. The difference is only five millimeters across 35 instead of 40. I did not buy a matching inner tube for the new tire. I'm going to try to install it using an existing Schwalbe inner tube. This inner tube is rated at 37 millimeters. So the only difference should be only three millimeters between 37 and 40. I think it's going to work. If it's not going to work, obviously I'm going to buy a fitting inner tube. But for now, I think it's going to work. And my next video is going to show you exactly how I tried to install the new tire. This is it for now. If you are interested in following this series about mounting and testing bigger tires on the Brompton, please subscribe. I hope I succeed in installing this tire and if I do, you will see the next video fairly soon.